Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and bro, do you even trade right? That's the name of this video. Um, because we're talking about tradings at GameStop. Everybody jokes about, you know, like there's like the little memes where there's like a, the little kid that's standing in the room with like a thousand games at GameStop, like, we'll give you eight bucks for that or some shit like that. It's because GameStop has such a terrible reputation for giving poor trading credit. But I want to show you guys that I actually got a killer, killer trading deal at GameStop. Almost $200 worth of trading credit for roughly 15 items. If that, and I'm not to like all like new things. Like a lot of these are old things. So I'm going to show you guys here just to kind of, you know, go over this. I have to make sure I don't show any personal info here, but... Uh, we're going to show it off here. First of all, Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. I got 24 bucks for it. Guess what? On PlayStation Store, you can get a brand new digital download of it for 25 bucks. So they basically... I, I could buy a brand new digital copy if I wanted to of the same game and only pay $1 after the trading bonus. But I'm not going to do that, of course, you know, because I actually got other plans here. Um, see that right now GameStop has a special promo. Uh, where you have a 50% trade-in bonus, which is where the 750 trade-in bonus is. And then there also was a 20% trade-in bonus when you buy a copy of Mirror's Edge Catalyst. On top of that, this game is actually on sale. It's only $41.99 right now. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the bonuses actually add up to pay for the game. Uh, so let's take a look at it here. So we've got Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition, 24 bucks. 750 from the 50% bonus, and then the, uh, you know, I get, well, actually, I'm not sure if this has power up 10%, but I know that they both the bonuses added up together. Because uh, I'll show you a screenshot of before I got the game and the bonuses from that added. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege 2720. Uh, that game's dirt cheap right now on PSN. It's 30 bucks for a brand new copy. I can get the gold edition that has all the DLC. Which is a $30 or $40 season pass by itself for 40 bucks if I wanted to do that. Samurai Warriors 4, 1280. You play one Dynasty Warriors S game, you've played them all, so don't need it. Division, 24 bucks. Division's actually kind of low uh, for being a newer game, but I guess it's because people are getting bored of it and there's probably a lot of trade ins. Uh, Far Cry 4, 960, that's an old game now. Resident Evil 6 for PS4, 1440. I bought it brand new from Amazon for 16 bucks, and I already have it on PC, so why keep it on PS4? Uh, Shadow of Mortar, 480. Uh, just for reference, uh, you can get a brand new copy on PlayStation for uh, I think it's 750 or eight bucks right now, digital. Uh, Fallout 4, 2080. That's actually a little bit lower than I expected for that one, but it's on sale right now. Plus, I've got a new PC I'm getting, so I'm going to get it on that. Uh, Persona 4 Golden, $12.80. Um, that's not a bad one, uh, really. I mean, considering that I think I paid 16 bucks for it when I originally bought it at GameStop. Assassin's Creed Road, $4.80. No need to keep it because I did a Humble Bundle. Got the PC version with the better graphics. Uh, Demon's Souls, $11.20. Got it for free from PlayStation Plus, so why keep it? Splatoon, $40 for Splatoon. Ridiculous, man. This is fucking ridiculous how good these trade-ins are. Uh, uh, Viking Battle for Asgard. I got it for absolutely free because I dumpster dive that bitch. Yes, I actually got GameStop to give me money for a dumpster dive, although I wasn't... I didn't actually, like, announce that I got it from their dumpster, and this was actually, like, two years ago or something like that that I actually got it. So, yeah. Uh, Metroid Other M, $4.80. If I wanted to buy a brand new copy at my local Walmart, they have it for $4 brand new. Uh, then the Amiibo figures, of course, uh, which really, that's about the only thing I'm actually taking a loss on, really, I mean, if you think about it. So, yeah, and then I got a brand new copy of Mirror's Edge Catalyst for $41.99. This game just came out like a week ago, and it was $59.99. So, I did really awesomely. As you can see there, I also did a one dollar donation in St. Jude. Um, usually, if they offer that, I'll usually do a dollar or something like that just to you know help out. So right there, man, um, one seventy sixty one. I'm gonna cover up the bottom so you don't see my power up reward card number, so that you don't steal my credit because it's all on my card right now. 
and that's because I'm banking it. Um, a lot of it's going to go to Steam games, man. Uh, you know, because we got the Steam sale coming up next week, and I want to take mad advantage of that. Um, so I'm going to put a number here on the screen of what the trade-in values would have been before the trade-in bonuses, just to show you guys that if you do things right at GameStop, you'll get mad bank at GameStop. You just have to do the bonuses right. So, uh, but I just want to kind of show this off just to show you guys that, you know, you can get Mad Bank at GameStop. Bro, do you even know how to trade? So with that, guys, down Phoenix out.